Intrepid was intended to be one of steam-powered Napoleon-class ships of the line built for the French Navy in the 1850s. Her construction was suspended for many years before she was converted into a troop ship in 1863. The ship evacuated French troops in 1867 after the defeat of Second French Intervention in Mexico. She took part in the Siege of Sfax in 1881. Intrepid became a school ship in 1883, and was renamed Borde in 1890. The Austrian Kaiser only steamship of the line in the world that took part in a naval battle between ships. She took part in the Battle of Lissa in 1866 as the flagship of commander of the Austrian Unarmored Division. Kaiser engaged several Italian ironclads simultaneously. The photo was taken just after the Battle of Lissa. The old 120-gun sailing ship Waterloo was cut down to an 89-gun double-deck ship, converted to steam and renamed Conqueror in 1859. In 1864 he served at the China Station to defend the interests of British trade. In 1877 she was renamed War Spate and served as a training ship. HMS Hannibal was a 91-gun second-rate screw ship of the line, to be built at Deptford Dockyard and launched on 31 January 1854. She served in the Crimean War. She was used to transport Garibaldi's soldiers in Italy. She was hulked in 1874 and finally broken up in 1904. HMS Prince of Wales was one of six 121-gun screw-propelled first-rate three-decker line of battleships of the Royal Navy. This magnificent ship was late for the Crimean War and won no other military glory. In 1867, the Prince of Wales's engines were removed so they could be installed in the ironclad repulse. HMS Marlborough was a first-rate three-decker 131-gun screw ship built for the Royal Navy in 1855. She served as flagship of the Mediterranean Fleet from 1858-64. On board this giant was a ship's crew of 1,000 officers and sailors. In modern prices, the total cost of each screw steam capital ship was about $15 million. The most advanced, armed and fast battleships were completed by the end of the unarmored phase of the naval arms race between Great Britain and France. In 1860 the Royal Navy had more wooden steam line of battleships than it needed to man in peacetime. The Royal Navy's first armored line of battleship, Warrior was commissioned in 1861. Unarmored screw line of battleships were still of value in the early to mid-1860s, and several new screw line of battleships were commissioned in the 1860s. As the pinnacle of naval technology in the 1850s, steam screw battleships quickly became obsolete as capital ships. Some of these ships were converted into transports or training ships, but most served as floating barracks until the early 19th century.